<laughs> no, I had not seen this. Yo, that's so sick, bro. That's awesome. Let's hear masculinity hot takes from the currently banned on Twitter, Noah Sampson. Hi. Hey, everybody. What's up? He just got banned on Twitter. That's why I'm reacting to his video. What's he going to do? Call me out on Twitter? Can't do that, Noah. You're banned. I don't even know why he got banned, but... Welcome to YouTube. We've been talking about boys and men on the internet since the internet started, but masculinity is a new hot topic trending in the last few years. Oh, is it toxic? Oh, what's going on with these guys? Oh, can we redefine it and make it better? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know about any of that crap, but what I do know is that there's some fun hot takes out there about masculinity that people send around, and I want to check them out today with you all and expose you to them. Sorry. Also, yes, I'm aware someone made a big, big video about me and I'm going to respond soon. But right now, it's going to take a little bit because it's a big, big video. All right, let's get started. Masculinity hot takes. Let's go. Most of these are from the Twitter account at Masculine Takes. I think they're pretty good. I think they're pretty fun. But also, I think they're indicative of what a lot of boys and men think about what masculinity is. For the most part, some of them are just wacky. Light beer was a hallmark of American masculinity. It united blue collar workers, frat guys, soldiers. Everybody could unite around a bar and order a Miller, Coors, Bush, etc. The new managerialist can't allow that symbol to continue, so they're destroying it. Okay, first off, Alaric the Barbarian. You're a blogger. Let's get that straight. You're speaking for blue collar guy. Exactly. It's always motherfuckers who post on Twitter talking about masculine men doing this, feminine men doing that. There is nothing more feminine than fucking chirping on Twitter with an anonymous account. You're not a big brave boy. You don't even have your fucking name associated with your account. You're a scaredy cat. Blogs online. You are literally just a, a, a 14-year-old queer teenager on Tumblr, okay? Ironic because that account also considers themselves a warrior poet. Warrior poet lifestyle advocate. You know who does poetry? Gay men. Or women. Who are also that... The gayest you can be is a woman, so, yeah. If you weren't, you know, there's nothing stopping you from going, meeting up with your fellow bloggers and grabbing a bush. You're going to be fine. You're going to drink the beer. You're going to get a little buzz. Dylan Mulvaney is not going to pop out from behind the bar with a shotgun and blow your head off. You're, you'll be all right. Funnily enough, the people destroying the beers are you guys. <laughs> Look at all this beer going to waste. It could be drunk by some boys after the factory work. But instead, these guys are destroying it. That's bad for society. What are you doing if Tate, that's Andrew Tate, calls you to a meeting, but you're already on a date with this chick? Pictured here is a lady, blonde lady, hi, and then a big group of some boys chowing down on some food. Some of them are shirtless, most of them are chowing down. The fun part about this one here is that he's a sex criminal, allegedly. Self-admittedly, actually, allegedly. That sounds like fun. Him and all his buddies, who all do similar things. The other question is, what am I meeting with Andrew Tate about? I don't want to talk, I don't the oil rig job poster pissed me off so much. Literally worked the fields. The job is motherfucking easy, man. What the fuck? Them vids are over-exaggerated. Wait, what? <laughs> you got so mad that to own some fucking Twitter weirdos, you went and worked on an oil rig? What's wrong with you? Who cares? <laughs> it's insane. No, he said he worked the field. Oh, you're saying you already... Oh, you worked in the field. Oh, you worked in the field. The job is easy. The videos are over-exaggerated. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> I, was, I misunderstood it. I thought you were, like, so mad at the Twitter posters that you went and you worked in a fucking oil rigging job. I don't want to meet with him. Meeting. More like m eating. Meat eating. Because they're... Okay. The only thing scarier than the fact that somebody earnestly asked this question is the way some people responded to it. Gotta go. Brother needs me. Bye. If she understands, she's a keeper. Sorry, I've got an important meeting. You. Might it's just weird because, like, these are all fantasies, right? Like, that's all this is. It's fantasies. People uh, fantasizing about what they would do in a hypothetical situation. What strikes me as super odd about it is, though, that you're fantasizing about hanging out with Andrew Tate. Like, why don't you fantasize about something better? 
This is no different from the One Direction Imagines. Oh, yeah. 100%. This is Stan Twitter shit, for sure. But one thing I will say about, like, a young BTS fan, uh, uh, a young BTS stan fantasizing about uh, fantasizing about like hanging out with Jimin or uh, coming out of a surgery and Jimin actually uh, gave you his teeth or something is that like Jimin is way cooler than Andrew Tate. Y you know what I mean? You've never heard that meme? It's like, oh, you, you wake up from a surgery and, uh, and Jimin is sitting across from you smiling. And he and uh, he says, "I gave you my teeth, or whatever the fuck that is." You can use Big Time Rush as an example next time. I don't know anything about Big Time Rush, so I can't use them as an example. Like, why don't you, why don't you fantasize about getting bitches? Like, actually, I mean that unironically. If you're gonna fantasize about shit, like instead of fantasizing about hanging out with a shirtless Andrew Tate eating fucking meats, fantasize about having bitches, dude. What's going on? might not understand that it will be good for you but eventually you will it's gonna be good for you because he's gonna teach me how to sex traffic you and don't worry if you make any money i will take i'll be taking it all so the man knows what's best he <coughs> with leadership in a relationship because he's a man and a masculine boy notice all the most freakish replies are from people who subscribe to twitter blue excuse me ma'am it's been a lovely date but unfortunately something has happened that needs my attention i've called you a cab and paid the bill we can catch up sometime later this week let's say friday sorry about this but i'll see you again soon and then it's sort of a gee emoji and a brain he's gonna be giving brain in a robe i was actually once driving oh. my date home and she said to me i don't need a man oh this guy is fucking insane i saw one video from him i don't know if it's this is the video but where he was like basically driven to tears about how much he hated his mom I said, are you sure? She said, yeah. I said, so get the f*** out the car and hitchhike. <laughs> Turned out, she got kidnapped. Uh, <laughs> no! I had not seen this. Yo, that's so sick. Bro. Bro. Yo. That's awesome. This guy is the fucking best, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> what the fuck? Once again, this is a fantasy. This is not a real story. However, if you have the capacity to fucking fantasize about shit on a podcast, why are you fantasizing about a potential partner getting fucking kidnapped to... To win a mental argument that you made. It's so weird. Even your like hypothetical scenarios that you are cultivating to win like petty arguments that no one is making really make you look bad. They make you look so bad. And that's a great example of why women need men. <laughs> the way he says it with such profundity, just like mesmerized by the story and the powerful example of his words. Turned out, she got kidnapped. Never the story doesn't tell us that women need men. The story tells us that women need an Uber driver. I don't know what's going on on the internet anymore, but hopefully this guy got charged and that the lady was okay whoa hey quick break to talk about the video sponsor today morgan and morgan are you injured and don't know where to start with morgan and morgan back to the video i believe in reclaiming yoga from the heathen robust masculine high energy spirit rather than faux new age hindu philic nonsense motley crew blasting as fit practitioners hit impossibly deep stretches to achieve combative excellence dude it's it's funny because like a lot of the new right guys are just like also openly fantasizing about like being Spartan in every sense. And what I mean by that is like, like fucking boys, you know what I mean? Like there are, I don't know about this guy, but like that's, it's so odd. I don't, I don't know about this guy in particular, but I have seen that a lot.
I believe in reclaiming yoga from the heathen, robust, masculine, high energy spirit, rather than faux new age, Hindu philic nonsense. <laughs> Motley crew blasting as fit practitioners hit impossibly deep stretches to achieve combative excellence. Oh, I want to hit that impossibly deep stretch. You know, the best part about this is this, you could do this. I encourage you actually do it. It sounds honestly kind of fun, but in order to do this, he's like, dude, this is the next wave, by the way. Uh, this is the, this is the other side of like, uh, if you do yoga, you're actually culturally appropriating like Indian culture or whatever. This is the, this is the logical conclusion on the reverse side of that, which is like, I like yoga, but shit's kind of gay. And also I don't like Indians. Uh, so you know, we want to do a white yoga and, and not gay, but still doing like deep stretches. Mm. But in a masculine alpha dog combat kind of way, but deep stretches. Oh, yeah. Just hit that deepest of stretch. This you got to reserve your own yoga studio at the Y, not kick out all the women, all the people that are not wanting to do what you're doing. What does it mean to masculinize yoga? Does that just mean getting oiled up and then sitting on the top of a skyscraper? Also, if you want to train for combat, train for combat, you know? Do some yoga afterwards, maybe, but for me, when I'm in a downward dog, I'm not really feeling combative excellence. I'm just more saying, ow, ow, ow. This one's a triple whammy post, a post within a post within a post. My boyfriend cries a lot and it's starting to get on my nerves. We have been together for about eight years and this crying thing is pretty new. He's been drinking a lot more too. Music moves him to tears. Caring about his friends moves him to tears. Exciting special things brings him to tears. I don't know what to do. At first I thought it was nice that he felt safe enough to let emotions out. Now I don't know how to react. I find it irritating. Then the Okay, to be fair, I mean <laughs> dude is just kind of sad, huh? It's like <laughs> like <laughs> possibly because his girlfriend kind of sucks. It's like a double whammy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's Jordan Peterson's wife. She's the one who posted this. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. A quote tweet here from Carl, old anti-feminist YouTuber Carl. Wonder how he's doing. As a man, you must never cry in front of a woman. You can cry in private. You can cry with your best friends. You can cry with your dad, even though you ought not to but you must never cry in front of a woman. I'm trying to imagine having the type of brain that reads this first post and says that that's good. That makes sense. We should, that should be a normal thing. <laughs> we should follow this as the example of how to be a man. And all women are like this. That's why you shouldn't cry in front of them. Now I could see an argument that crying too much might get in the way of a relationship. For example, if you're sh shooting tears out of your head like SpongeBob while you're driving or something and you crash and everybody dies. Well, I mean, that's self-explanatory. But these all sound like pretty reasonable instances to be crying in. Posts like this to me read like bait like it looks like it's made in order to validate the anti-feminist worldview that uh you stoicism is the best thing to do around women because women will find you weak and pathetic if you aren't that yeah stoicism is the best i say and then i go on fucking subreddits and cry about women non-stop but in a stoic way you understand and it's not technically crying because i'm using my fingers and a keyboard so yeah I'm so stoic. <laughs> and maybe some do. Obviously, this person does. But I feel like also a lot of people find it, it is brave to cry. Because society tells men and boys that it's weak to cry. And so if you do that, you're breaking society's rules. Being a brave boy. Being a brave boy. All men who follow Nick Fuentes need to be built like this. Wit men unite. We must continue our race. Jews cannot be allowed to destroy our culture and heritage. And there's a picture of a guy doing some sort of thing in a mirror. This post. Bro, this is half the time, half the time. I like these things are so bro. This only happens if you're living in a fucking vacuum, okay? I'm not even talking, I'm not even talking about like echo chambers at this point. You're living in an echo vacuum, okay? Like, you should not be brave enough to post shit like this. And the only way that you think that you can post something like this and not get immediately obliv obliterated by the rest of like civilized society is because your brain is so broken from all of the constant feedback 
that you're getting from people with the most unhinged ideologies that you also have. This is literally like, this is, you're on your 11th Discord splinter, okay? Because the other ones did not like your esoteric Nazi uh, ideology because it deviated like 3% away from it. And you've decided you have another, there's another splinter of a splinter of a splinter Discord server that you're inside of. No shot. Culture and heritage. And there's a picture of a guy doing some sort of thing in a mirror. This post is bait. It's very, very clearly bait. Anyone freakish and deeply online enough to know who Nick Fuentes is, and let alone support him, will know that this post is obviously silly. It plays perfectly into that trope about how Nazis view themselves as a superior race, but a lot of them are just like pretty far from the ubermensch ideal. And that's why, to me, it's bait, but maybe not. Who cares? The first post here is born in the spring or summer. The quote tweet says, oh my God, I used to say this and people called me mad. There's something very unmasculine about men who aren't born in October or December, but I'll forgive you if it's September, January, or February. With many of these posts, it's very difficult to tell satire from reality. There are, of course, communities that are into believing this sort of stuff. You know, if you're a horoscope head, what's stopping you from taking the essential characteristics of your own horoscope and extending that to masculinity and feminine? Entity. But these are just so good. Look at the follow-up. When a man tells me his birthday is in July, I look at him sideways. Are you a girl? <laughs> Fellas, is it, you know, you know, the you know the thing. I used to say this and people got mad. Well, it looks like they're still getting pretty mad. You're getting ratioed. And I wonder what the quote tweet said. I'm sure it's very nice. In the Northern Hemisphere, boys are generally born uh, during the winter because it's very cold and boys are stronger and then so they can survive the cold. Whereas girls, they're born in the summer because they, genetically speaking, they love sundresses and being outside in the warmth. Sick, sick, sick. AIDS said Donald Trump talk about Ivanka Trump's breasts, her backside, and what it might be like to have sex with her. Remarks that once led former chief of staff John Kelly to remind the president that Ivanka was his daughter. And then there's a what the fuck? John Cooper? Did not think that John Cooper would be popping off. Everyone will make fun of you on the inside of you who thinks like you and you post this. You will be the bad joke on 4chan by 4chan posters. It's yet another circumstance where, you know what it is? It's yet another circumstance where, um, it's like the David DePeepee uh, uh, situation, right? Everyone on an anonymous forum loves talking like they want to do exactly what David DePeepee did. But once there is a light that shined onto it, they fucking scatter like rats, right? And they immediately go, oh, that's not one of ours. That's a, that's a gay guy. That's a gay libtard, actually. It's like, no, man, he looks exactly like you. He behaves exactly like you. He was posting alongside you for a very long time. The only thing you don't like is that he actually acted out on the desires that you are too cowardly to actually engage in and simply talk about online. That's it. It's the same shit. That guy thought he would pop off with that post, probably because he's been so heavily influenced by... Uh, so heavily influenced by uh, all the people that post uh, things uh, like that in wherever dark hole that he's posting in, you know? <sighs> but the moment that it hits uh, critical velocity, terminal velocity, and everyone else starts seeing how fucking uh, psychotic and, and loser-like you are, they're like, oh, that's not one of us. He's a gay fed commie. He's a communist federal agent and gay and stupid not me it's a pick of that to the two family members giving a smooch then there was a reply here from oh look at that twitter blue user i'm sure it'll be very normal what donald trump said out loud millions of fathers with gorgeous sexy daughters think about why are it you think fathers whose daughters end up in playboy or are actresses and models who use their sex appeal to promote their attributes don't fantasize about them it's called being human the marker of a man is being an incestuous pervert i'm not i'm not touching this one not with a 10-foot pole nor with any other type of pole well <laughs> Leaving it. 5D consciousness, you win this round. Bye. Mental acuity, decisiveness, and leadership capability are downstream from physicality. Societies dissolve when people who haven't earned power are put in powerful positions. Bench, squat, deadlift maxes should be de to determine presidential candidacy. Okay, except 
RFK would get fucking clapped, dude. It's yet another one of those circumstances where, like, I don't disagree. It'd be kind of fun and kind of cool. If they did that, you know, like a strongman competition, you know what I mean? Just saying, like, it certainly wouldn't be RFK Jr. winning this. The eligibility. I actually, I actually fully agree with this. I think it's good. And I agree. As a gym bro, you can check out my fitness channel as well if you're into that sort of crap. I go to the gym to strengthen my resolve, my leadership skills, and my geopolitical understanding. With every curl, I know more about world conflict. With every bench, I am become that cool and smart at presidency. Oh, and yeah, this is a Bitcoin guy. Of course, for sure. Doing a little trolling to promote your coins. Just go to Chuck E. Cheese, you little goobers. Erections will become as rare as gold. Twitter blue, again, look at this bullshit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Amazing. Every time. Boner scanners will be placed in hotels to identify men who still have testosterone. Oh, I'm picturing the Nemo fish tank scanner searching around for some hard meat. What happens when they identify that you're cranking your hog in a hotel room? You get shipped off to a breeding facility? What are you? What's up? Men will be kidnapped for their potency to satisfy the most savage and under- Oh, come on, bro. They will fight to the death. That's kink. That's kink. I, I, I am... I'm trained enough in the arts to know when someone is, is kink posting. Like, that's just pure kink, pure fantasy. 100%. For last trips, prepare accordingly. This is cyberpunk sci-fi fantasy smut, and it's probably causing Margaret Atwood to gritty in her grave. That's a Handmaiden's Tale and Fortnite reference. The ick I get when a man mentions going to therapy or having anxiety is unreal, like it makes me feel sick, Lamau. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> no bigger turnoff than a male going through, in quotes, anxiety. They used to go to war, Blair. Yeah, they used to go to war and weren't anxious about that at all. This, like a few other of these posts of women upholding these weird gendered standards. Assuming they're not satire, this one doesn't really seem like it because there's an elaborative response. This is patriarchal programming at its finest, folks. This attitude comes from somewhere. It's not biological. You learn this at some point. Pretty easily to internalize the messages from our culture that we get that say uh, men shouldn't have anxiety. They should be leaders and good boys at all times. Therapy is pretty cringe, though, because it's better if you bottle up all your emotions and then they let yourself explode like a bomb. Dear men, if you are married and your wife goes to the gym, but you don't, I have to tell you something. At the end of the gym session, there is something some gyms called warm down, while others simply call it stretch. Your wife will lie on the ground facing up, her arms spread in surrender, while the gym instructor stands between her legs. All right, this is smut. This is more smut. You're riling yourself up here and it's okay. You know, but call it that. Don't call it guidebook for boat being a man. He will then take one of her legs and stretch it to the extreme until she unleashes some sound that I can guarantee has nothing to do with pain. She bought it. He will then do the same to the other leg. He will proceed to hold various parts of her anatomy. Again, a lot of this is just like uh, pathological uh, and it's kink posting. Always. It's always kink posting. This is literally just Tumblr posting. Ultimately, I think it always goes back to the same. Uh, it always goes back to the same bullshit, which is that uh, regardless of which standum uh, you're a part of, you're when you get really, really invested in it, you're doing Wattpad. You're doing Wattpad uh, flicks. You're writing whatever, whatever is like making you horny. You're just doing fanfics. But these guys are stands for misogyny, usually. You know what I mean? Like, instead of standing something like, like a musician, a band, something normal, I guess, they're stands of misogyny, which is odd and weird. I mean, being a stand of, like, musicians also... Uh, it gets into tricky territory, but these motherfuckers make that shit look infinitely more normal. You know what I mean? It's crazy.
Me. Okay, what? <laughs> Stretching? Is that, I guess, technically, touching your toes is getting all up in your anatomy by touching a part of your body. And push and pull them widely like he paid dowry for her. Then he will grab both legs together and push them towards her head, making her have this pose taking straight out of Satan's adultery guidebook. Did Satan write an adultery guidebook? That shit sounds hot. She will make that sound again. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Your feet are up. You're gonna fart. You need to see what these women wear to the gym to understand this pose. The institution of marriage is being burnt alive in these gyms. When done, in a voice your wife has never used when talking to you, she will say goodbye to him and ensure him that Kesho Tutafanya Ili Injin for sure. She Sorry, I'm I'm pausing because I'm going to respond to quartering, which is something I haven't done ever, I don't think. Because uh, everyone is, every one of the fucking basement dwelling losers uh, have uh, gathered their pitchforks to be like, Hassan loves when, uh, Hassan loves when like 65 year old men are assaulted. He's a total piece of shit. If you respond to quarter pounders, your shingle will return. Don't say we didn't warn you. It's so great that it takes like 30 hours for any controversy to somehow turn to your reaction and not the initial event. Yeah, I know. The Barry Chan shit didn't work, so they moved on to this. Yeah, now they're like, oh, he loves... Didn't he get banned from a Magic the Gathering event? Jeremy Hambly's Magic the Gathering harassment ban... First of all, controversy surrounding the banning of YouTuber Jeremy Hambly for attending Magic the Gathering events due to complaints he allegedly harassed cosplayer Christine Sparkle. Didn't he also assault someone there? He got banned from Magic the Gather from all MTG play at all. He complained about his cars being worthless and they bought him out just to get rid of him. Oh, that's so funny. Or you got to find a way to end this constant drama that you end up getting into. It literally alienates tons of normies from your content, in my opinion. Hey, my friend, that is the point. That's the reason why every time I say something, every time an, an event happens, there is like groups of people who desperately try to turn the event away from the actual events that took place and directly to me being a bad person. You understand that, right? You just basically describe the reason why people do this. And if I don't fucking, if I let misinformation ride, no matter what fucking happens, people are going to do that. So there's not anything I can do. She will have a genuine smile and his feci enzymes will be at their most aggressive. As an elder, I must warn you that gym instructors are replacing us. We either go to the gym with these ladies or ban gym visits altogether. Don't say the servant of the Lord didn't warn you. Hashtag masculinity Saturday. All I'm getting from the story while reading it is that he likes this. He thinks it's hot. There's no way you go into that much detail. Your take on the old man vendor is disgusting. Can't believe I supported you this long. <laughs> It's a joke. There's no way this person is serious. Yeah, they're fucking memeing. There's no shot. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I can't. About this point, unless you're writing smut. All right, we're going to end it with one final Masculinity Saturday post. Here we go. Men, symptoms of dysfunctional orifices. Oral orifice. Talks recklessly. Angry. Emotions. Noisy. Eats like a glutton. Likes a giant. Man, what are you... And what is going on in these guys' lives? Urethral orifice, promiscuity, reckless ejaculation, STIs. Reckless ejaculation just sounds like you're jerking off and you shoot yourself in the head. Anal orifice, farts carelessly. <laughs> Bro. Okay, that's... <laughs> I'm done, man. These are fun. But these people are out there. Watch out on the internet. Stay safe. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thanks again to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring. And I'll see you next time with a big video. It's going to take a little while, but I love you. Bye. <laughs>